Okay, it's uh, November the 11th. Uh, we have a big low front moving through the area in the Niagara region and uh, we're about to get like a foot of snow. Uh, I have some free time tomorrow. Uh, so I decided uh, I'm gonna try to get myself a snow carp. And uh, I'm also gonna kind of recap the, the season that we just had. Uh, it was a great season for us at Monster Carp. And uh, there's a lot to talk about and I'll kind of go through that uh, tomorrow when I get the, the chance to sit down behind my rod. I just came down to the water today. I'm gonna take the chance, uh, take the time to get some uh, boilies uh, in the water that are gonna kind of mimic uh, my hook bait. Uh, I'll get those into the swim here now and then uh, I'll follow up tomorrow and uh, we'll do our season wrap up. Okay, we got uh, some crazy wind and weather right now. We got a foot of snow last night, roughly. I hadn't had a chance to put the weather on yet, but I know when I cleared the driveway there was a good foot there. But anyways, we're on the bank. Uh, we're going to try to finish this season uh, like we started it. Uh, we started the season hoping for uh, a snow carp and uh, it didn't really happen. So uh, we're going to try to put one on the bank today and then uh, maybe once I get home uh, when the audio is going to be a little bit better. Uh, the wind is kind of howling and there's a lot of road traffic noise uh, in this particular swim. So uh, after I get the, the fish on the bank then we'll try to revisit. Uh, the season and uh, talk about what we were up to and uh, how things went. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna finish my coffee and uh, stare at the bobbin for a while. Talk to you later. had to come out for a second day. Yesterday didn't work out. Uh, we dropped a fish early. Uh, right after I cast it out, uh, I hadn't set up the net yet and uh, the rod ripped off and uh, as I was fumbling to put the, the net together, uh, the fish dropped off. So uh, I've got the net set up today early before I cast out. Um, conditions look a lot better today. Yesterday there was like 40 kilometer hour winds out of the north and the wind chill was about minus 14 Celsius so today it's uh, minus 4 and there's only a light breeze today so hopefully we can get our uh, snow carp today and then uh, head back somewhere warm and uh, I can fill you in on how the earlier part of the season went. Got the monster bank stick here with the monster alarm, uh, monster indicator we got the two and a quarter pound uh, test group, uh, nine foot monster carp uh, stalker rod here. So uh, we're all set up and uh, hopefully the bite will come soon. Okay, we got our snow carp. We're just about to release it. 20 pounds, 14 ounces. Twenty pounds, fourteen ounces. About to let this fish go. Put up a great battle. We got a little bit of time left. Hopefully, we can get another. But if not, we'll go back home, warm up, and discuss how the previous parts of the season went.
Early in the season, I had lofty goals for my carp angling. I wanted to actively pursue the fish when the conditions warranted the effort, but unfortunately there are very few such occasions. The winter was a fairly cold one that started early and left very few areas that were likely to produce. I had one particular swim in mind that others had results in previous years throughout the winter months. Unfortunately, the more productive swims were frozen over when I arrived, but I pressed on in hopes of at least limited success. Ultimately, I opted for using PVA bags filled with crushed monster carp oilies to entice a bite. Also in the PVA bags, I used quick oats and killer vanilla boilies to have a lighter colored patch on the bottom that would hopefully pique the interest of the carp. That tactic didn't prove fruitful, but also did not mean it was the wrong tactic. I pressed on exploring many more of my early season swims. The weather was simply miserable and no warm water really existed anywhere at this point. It's literally been over four months now since I've seen a carp. Um, the last carp I got was uh, December, December the second, I believe. Um, so I've resorted to going to an aquarium to, to remind myself what these fish look like. Um, I did target some trout for a little while just to break things up. The majority of my efforts lately have just been scouting and baiting. Um, but there's a little bit of rain in the forecast now. Uh, temperatures are starting to get back above seasonal and, and back to seasonal. So hopefully it won't be long before uh, I get to, to see these fish in the wild as opposed to swimming around in a tank. 
But uh, Couple target fish there. <laughs> uh, they frown on bringing your rod in here, so. Anyways, yeah. hopefully next time uh, I'm on the bank, then uh, I'll catch one of these for myself. The pursuit of a snow carp proved unfruitful, and my thoughts quickly turned to preparing for the, and strategizing for the much anticipated fishing Canada Carp Cup. Peg draw was. Uh, Peg draw was interesting. Uh, a lot of the pegs that we wanted to pull um, went early in the peg draw. We were the 17th. We were the 17th team to to choose our peg, and uh, we ended up with a good peg, regardless of um, not getting one of the pegs that we would have preferred. Um, so, like I said, this is day two at the tournament now. Um, yesterday um, we spent the majority of our time uh, lugging our gear into our swim and we had a fairly large hike from uh, where we could get access. Uh, we got the swim set up, plumbed around for depth and uh, we picked some spots, we've baited them up, and we've worked them for the first day. Uh, we've been somewhat patient, seeing as how the results from all the other swims have only shown that uh, you know most of the pe most of the pegs have only had like a fish or two uh, the first day, from what we can tell, and the majority of those bites seem like they came early on day one. basic strategy was going to be to fill in the higher traffic areas along the seams of the current that we thought the fish would uh, travel through. Uh, get a good bed of bait down there, of quality bait, uh, like mussel boilies and the coconut boilies. And uh, we would use those as hook baits and hopefully additionally adding in a fair amount of smaller particle with uh, pigeon feed and cattle corn that we'd be able to get the fish to stop in those areas and hold and hopefully give us the chance to catch more of them. In order to get that done, we needed to spot out with a three and a half pound monster rod, spot out the bait onto those areas, and we eventually used uh, method feeders, and uh, that was our go-to uh, towards the end of the tournament, along with some pineapple corn as the hook bait. So it was always good to see Angelo and Len and the rest of the crew for Fish in Canada and uh, we were really starting to see good results on the second day and it was really encouraging at that point when we landed our first fish over 30 pounds and continued to have success through the tournament. We had a great average weight, but could not keep pace with the top teams and proudly finished in fourth place. After the tournament, my focus switched to learning the potential of a swim I had my eyes on for a few years now. I will put a link for the complete YouTube video for the Fishing Canada Carp Cup and for the video in this swim down below in the description. I feel this swim has a lot of potential and I hope to explore it further in the 2020 season.
about 22 pounds to start here. I just have to subtract the weight of the sling. But this fish is definitely passing some zebra mussels, so might be something to keep in mind. I might try some monster uh, mussel boilies later in the week. I'm gonna send them back. of the fish here were quite encouraging. Okay, uh, I'm officially done fishing today. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I'm happy with this spot. It's basically turned out to be everything I thought it would. Um, I gotta get this fish back. But, uh, I look forward to exploring some more new spots and hopefully they pay dividends like this. But uh, make sure you subscribe to the Angler Files YouTube channel, follow them on Instagram, check out the Urban Carp Collective, check out Monster Carp Tackle. But uh, unfortunately, the scale was uh, not cooperating so. Uh, I'm not even going to take a stab at this, but uh, I'm very happy with this fish. I'm going to send it on its way. The rest of the season was mainly spent scouting new spots and participating in a contest put on by carpvanguard.com. I suggest you look into that site. Hopefully when 2020 officially kicks off for everyone, it will be a great season. Don't hesitate to visit our website and our social media platforms to find out what we have to offer. Good luck this year.